good afternoon. Good evening, family. I kind of like this 60s look, right? It's black and white. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, folks. Listen, I'm going to be on here real short, real short, because this is something that needs to be addressed. It's something that has to be said. And uh, I just got to, I got to say it. First of all, well, before I get started, let me thank Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick, you know you are my homeboy. Um, and not just that, uh, a lot of us have a special place in our heart for you. And we ain't going to get into why. But um, I just want to thank you for making the supreme sacrifice. And I'm just sad and sorry that nobody had your back. Um, and I want to acknowledge that. Because you didn't have to do that. And although you're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. Because at the end of the day, no matter what happens, you have a, 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 a very good structure. A very good support system. And um, I'm thankful for that. Because it is that support system that raised you, that raised a man. And I have to give credit where credit is due. Because you were raised by people that are free thinkers. And in turn, even though you were biracial, you black, they, um, being the dominant member of of society taught you a kind of courage that a lot of the, um, the even black players don't even have that's been raised by black women and black men they taught you how to speak up for yourself and not worry about the consequence and so I have to acknowledge their parenting of you because they did a good job and so I want to pay homage to you today. No matter what happens to you in your career, you okay. You're going to go down in history as far as I'm concerned. Your name will never die in my in my family and in, in my household. I think that we respect you and we honor you. So I just want to start this off and definitely say that first and foremost. Um, second of all, a brother sent me some information, and um, I can't think of his name right now, but I appreciate you. Shout out, brother, for sending me the information about the, ugh, I can't even hardly say it. It's so stupid. The Dick and Pussy Challenge. Okay? And all I want to say is this: that's why nobody take us serious. I'm not going to get into whether you like it and whether you think it's cool, or whether you this, that, and the other. I'm not even going to get into that. Because, again, I'm a 60s baby. Um, and that shit is just whack. It's foul. And Erica, you, who have made so many women proud because of your independence, because of your representation, as a goddess, you have daughters that are young, impressionable, probably going into teens. If they're not teens already. And you would actually promote the dick and pussy challenge. I am done with you because now I see the hidden hand has got your ass on them. The marionette puppet got you on the strings too. And I really see it for what it is because the fact that you can flip the script and do something like that, I don't even want to say anything else about it. I'm supremely disappointed in you. And y'all can say whatever you want to. Thank you. I'm just disappointed in Erica. Because uh, how low can you go? 
How low can you go, black people? Let me just ask y'all, how low to the ground can you go? Because you already are so acting so low that you can crawl up under the belly of a snake with a top hat on. That's how low we are right now. So how low y'all want to go? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments below. I'm I'm really interested in knowing, you know, maybe somebody got the formula because I, it should be nowhere up from but from here. But because you you down too low, I, I can't even talk about that anymore. Let's stop that. Um, lastly, I'm very concerned, very concerned about Tyrese's little daughter. Tyrese. Tyrese, Tyrese. Tyrese, 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 you're doing too much. And for all of y'all that are condoning his behavior and thinking that he's just a loving, loving father, um, there are loving fathers. And the court system can be hell on, on a man, period. Black, white, don't matter. Once you get involved with the family court system, you ask your ass. That's never why I never wanted to. I never never was involved in child family court because I don't believe in jealousy. There's no way in the world that if, uh, if somebody I made a baby with didn't want to take care of the child, I would go down there and go and tell them white people and put them in my business. This is me now. Speaking for myself. Because I didn't know them when I did this shit. They were nowhere in the picture. But now I'm going to go to him and tell now, everybody got their own feelings about that, but I just don't want you in my business like that. No, 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 no. I'm free. And the minute I take anything from you, I will cease to be. I'm free, at least in the sense that I think I am. I know I'm not ultimately really free. But to just think that I will have to bring him into my relationship is just mind-boggling. In my opinion, I believe that the situation can be worked out better, no matter how whacked it is. If I decide that if I produce the baby with this person, then um, I'm going to have to take my chances that if I can't get any uh, anything out of this person, anything that's remotely showing me that he's got concern for this child that he produced, then I'm just going to have to do it. It's just me. It's just it's, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we'll be okay. But I know good and well. I don't think I will be okay once. I think that entity would pretty much hurt my um, family. But you would. But let me make sure I put this in there too. I ain't, you don't get no pass to make no whole bunch of mistakes. You make one, the same mistake. Okay? Because if you keep having babies, then that means you're not even sure. You're doing this on purpose. And you are part of the system. And you like it. But if anybody that rejects that notion of being a part of it, I think they were trying to figure out a way to work around that. Uh -uh. I would just think that we, we would do right by one another. And I think the more evolved your partner is, y'all would do that. Okay? And that shouldn't be an issue. You know, it might not be what you want. might not be that. But I'd rather do with that than to have that. I just couldn't. Not me. So, I don't know. To each his own. So, I'm not judging anybody and saying anything wrong that if you did that, if you went down and got child support, if whatever kind of situation you were in, I can't speak for that. Okay? I just think it's a sad thing that if you had to, you have to go tell the white man on the black man because the black man don't know how to act. That's really messed up. To me. And if I already seen those characteristics and those red flags in you, I, you definitely wouldn't have been the person that I would have chose to produce a child with. So that's just that's a whole other story for a whole other day. Um, <laughs> but Tyrese, what you're doing to that little girl now, I think is borderlining on um, trying to influence a, uh, a child 
and it doesn't look good. Those are the kind of things that look a little overbearing. It makes me think like, why are you, what are you trying to hide? Why are you trying to, both of y'all, if y'all playing with that child's mind like that, and you telling her one thing and he's saying another, and you guys hate each other so much, poor Shayla. Poor Shayla. And I don't think that because you fly um, banners over her school, baby, means that you love her. You know, it could mean that you want to control the situation as well. A lot of us know that. Okay? We ain't stupid. Just like we know that the woman could be poisoning the little girl as well. That happens. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all need to get this together. And you need to stop it. And if you really, really are concerned about the child that you brought into this world, instead of driving her crazy, so when she get to be 20 and 25, she'll have all kinds of emotional craziness because of what y'all going through. Then let it go. Let it go. And I hate that y'all had to end up in the court system. I really hate that. But now it is what it is. But Tyrese, all that flying banners over the school and doing that, it looks like you're doing a little extra. And it just doesn't look healthy. Okay, I don't know what your purpose is and that your motive, motive is. And I know you say you love your daughter. And I know you, I believe you do. But that doesn't look good. It's, love is a gift. It's not a possession. And because a child comes through you, it ain't yours. You just pushed out some life for the universe. To keep this cycle moving. I, you know. They don't belong to you like that. They're gifts. And how you treat a gift. You know. Is not manipulative. Not being malicious. Not being sneaky. Not being. You know. Having an ulterior motive. About all that. All that stuff. If you're doing that with the kid. Trust me. It's going to come out. Because you got to be pure. To deal with a child's heart. So y'all got a blessing. And I hope y'all make this a nightmare. For y'all or your child. Okay. Okay. So with that being said. I'm done. I'm done. Shout out. Shout out to. Uh, my cousin. Uh, that I saw. on That must have found me. They used to live in Robert Taylor Homes. Uh, I think they was off 49th and 39th, somewhere 39th and, ooh, what was it, State Street? Uh, oh, my God. Her, a, a cousin of mine and her friend. And we talking about when we were little girls. <laughs> Back in Chicago on the south side, I used to have to go and visit them in the summertime. And um, oh, I didn't have to. I did sometimes. <laughs> I ain't trying to be funny, but I think I did a video before that girl about it was horrible. I know, but those are memories, and those are some of the memories that we made, and we survived. And we survived. <laughs> but I really hated it. I hope you know that. <laughs> so with that being said, shout out to anybody and everybody that uh, was around in the 70s <laughs> in Caprini Green. And uh, Robert Taylor Holmes, I, hold, I heard that they now have their website for all the alumni for the Robert Taylor Holmes. Why don't you go and check it out? And uh, if you find anybody on there that you know, shout them out. All right, you guys. So if you like what you hear, I'm going to go. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Right? Okay. Bye-bye.